Hi, um, I know I promised to uh, show you how to do some editing on your mobile phone. Uh, I have an iPhone, so um, automatically I'd be looking to the iMovie app here, which comes free with uh, an iPhone, also comes free with an iPad, uh, or even an iPod Touch. You could also um, use this app as well. It's there, you'll note by it's a purple lozenge with a um, white star and a little movie camera. And of course it says iMovie underneath. So we'll just tap the icon there and we open it up uh, we see all of our videos and that's basically all the videos that you have on your um, in your photos library and uh, anything that's stored on your phone uh, and incidentally it is always better to work in landscape um, with this application as well and you'll see why shortly so anyway there are all the videos there we don't want to look at that what we want to do is start a new project so we go into the second tab there where it says project it lights up and you'll see a big plus sign there so to start a new project we hit the plus sign and then we're given two options movie or trailer we're going to go with a movie so we press that now you can see here it has uh, comes to this page where I can see all of the media that I have again stored but what I want to do here is create movie so I press create movie and what I have here now is a timeline at the bottom which you can see in a kind of a grey there and you have a number of different buttons along the side which will all come into use very very shortly but the first thing we need to do is obviously add in some video content so this is stuff that I shot recently and when you press the button there to to get into media there it goes into all of the things that are in your photos library so you have your moments you have all of your videos all of your photos all of your albums sort out as albums you also have audio there which would be your iTunes library your camera if you want to record live and then you can also go into your iCloud drive if you have that set up which means you can uh, go into other folders that you might have videos and photographs in and this will edit both videos and photographs but for the moment we're talking because it's social media we're talking about videos and what we're going to do is we're going to click video here and what will happen is now very shortly we're going to see all of my um, video content that is there so we'll see all of the videos that are from all sorts of different sources that I have here so what I'm going to do here is go to recently added so these are all the ones that I would have shot on my phone and now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, just pick some clips or parts of clips um, from a recent uh, a family event in Leopardstown Racecourse. So I'm going to press one of these here. This one here is there's a young lady here feeding some goats. Um, so I'm going to uh, press that. You'll see a kind of a yellow um, surround comes up around that. And that means I can actually trim this video. What I mean by that is if I pull back that yellow, the edge of the yellow uh, thing there, I can actually now put a start and finish point in that rather than bringing in the whole clip, I can just bring in part of it. So I'm gonna bring this initial part of it here because I know I moved the camera at some point. So just before I move the camera, I'm gonna use that there. So what I do is I hit plus with uh, on the end there in this black square of icons, I hit plus there. And that all of a sudden goes into the timeline. So this is what our video will look like currently at the moment so it's just that one video there and you can scroll backwards and cross the see the line there's the scroll head there and i can further trim that video by pressing it again and i can actually make it shorter or longer in that position as well uh, using the yellow box again what I, what I have to do is just press it and the yellow box appears up now i can also do things i can trim it using the scissors there I can retime it with the clock, I can make it faster or slower, and you can see a little um, little icons there which are very helpful. So to make the clip go faster, I go over towards the running hair, or if I want to make it go slower, I go over towards the tortoise. Uh, I can change the sound, so I can bring up and down the sound volume on that there. I can put in text. So you see all of these here, these are all the different ways that the text will appear over that clip. And then of course, like many applications, I can put in different color filters uh, to basically put great effects there. But at the moment, I'm just gonna leave that alone because what I wanna do is add another video to, the, uh, to this. So I'm gonna press the plus sign again and that's going to bring me back to all of my videos that uh, I'd recorded on my mobile phone and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take another part of that same video but I'm going to take it from later on when I move the camera to when we were looking down from the other angle 
on the girl feeding the uh, young sheep there. So when I get that, I hit plus again, and it adds that clip on to that clip. Okay, and depending on where I have it, I can um, I can move these around as well. Now in between these two clips, it automatically puts a transition. You can see if I play that again, there's a little dissolve there. Now you can change that. So if I actually go back to that, where you see a box of two arrows facing each other, that's a dissolve. So there's a little bit of a fade there. You can see it there, where you can see a little bit of both pictures as it runs through. So if I press that button in the middle there, I can actually change that to either, so it's just a quick, a cut I can put a theme on it or I can make it slide so there's different types of slides so I just use the just slide to the left here on this here and I can change the duration of the transition it's going to change that to one and a half seconds it was one second so I, that's the duration change that's there and when I've done that I can just click anywhere on here and it'll go back to that so now when I play through that the next clip will slide over. Okay. So that's a very, very simple little edit there between two clips. Now what I can do is I can also, if I want to add some music, so if I go back all the way out to the main um, media library, I can go to audio and then I can go to theme music, sound effects, albums. So theme music is a selection of music that um, that iMovie has already stored. So let's go into the top library there is bright. So let's go in there. So we can do that now. So that's fine. We can uh, take that. So I can, uh, as I've pressed it and played it to preview it, a little icon saying use comes up underneath here. So I just press use. And now that goes in at the bottom there. So that green line underneath there is actually in the timeline there is actually the music track. Now, if I want to make adjustments to that, all I have to do is click that and I can shorten or lengthen that track. It's called bright. I can bring it in there and bring it out uh, to make it shorter or longer. And um, I can also, if I can get back to it, yeah, just press that again. I can also go into the middle uh, button here, I can change the volume of that if I want. So when I go into the volume control here, when I've clicked on the music track, you'll see at the very end here, it says fade. When I press fade here, I'm gonna get two little markers um, at the very end. You see the little triangle there? So what I'll do is if I push that in, a little bit. Now you'll see that the green has gone darker at the end there. And what's that signifying is that it's saying here uh, at 15.1 seconds, I'm gonna to start to dissolve. And that means the music will fade out at that point. So I'll just play that out. So, so that's not very loud. So what I'll do is I'll turn it up so you can hear it properly. So what I'm gonna do here is play a little bit more of the track of the, of the video. So there you go. So the music fades out very gently at the end there. And I can extend that fade as well. So you can see it there. So I can actually bring it all the way back here. So it's a much slower fade out. So I'll just go back further. Well, there you go, that fades out. You can also do the same with the, um, the audio track on the, the main video as well. What you need to do there is separate the um, the soundtrack from the uh, the main video. So the, the video is actually embedded, or the audio is actually embedded with the video. But if you press detach, you'll see all of a sudden a blue line comes out. Now there's already a little bit of a fade there because of the dissolve that we've put in there. It automatically puts an audio fade in there as well. But if I press this here, and if I hit the sound button there again, and you can see there my little yellow triangle has appeared again. And what I do there is I can fade the sound back on that so that 
it doesn't come to an abrupt end. This is a really nice way to finish a video off, just to finesse it a little bit, so that you have a the sound just fading out, and that basically means that it just, just doesn't stop dead, which is a bit abrupt. Okay, so let's have a look and see what that sounds like. So here's our video playing now. We have our little slide over there. We have our sheep enjoying their grass. So the sound on both the, the video that we recorded and the soundtrack, the music bed that we put in, have both fade out at more or less the same time there. And it's a much easier on your ear to hear it that way. So if we're happy enough that that's our video, well, I'll tell you what, let's put a title on it. Now say if I don't want the text to be on the whole clip. So if I press here, the best thing to do there is to press the little um, scissors there and go to split. And what happens there is it makes two clips out of the one clip. So I don't have to do anything with that now, except what I need to do here now is to add text is we'll say on the first clip and that's it there. I go to the, um, that's now selected with the yellow box around it. I press the text there and she will use a little bit of a, an effect here. So we'll say prism. And what we do there is we just tap in uh, our words here. So we'll just say hello. Well, I need to delete the text that's there because it says title here. We don't say that. We just want to say hello. And that's it. And you can go up or lower case the way you would normally do. So press done. And we have our text there. If I hadn't split the um, that video clip, the hello would have gone the full length of the clip. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to come out halfway through. So let's have a look what that looks like now. So we go back to the start again and we press that. So there's hello coming up, disappears again. And then we have our effect coming in to bring in the next clip. And then we can see our fades here at the very end. So when we've done that, the next thing we need to do is export the video. So we do is we press done. And it's saying my movie one, that's fine. And now I can press edit at any time to go back in and re-edit that video and add more things to it or take things out of it. I can put it in the bin. I could play it from here. But this little arrow here, you will be very familiar with from uh, loading up photographs and material to social media. It's the same icon. You press that and you're given a selection of things. So you can save it into your iMovies theater so you can play it back from your phone, which is always a good idea, good idea to do. Or you can send it straight to Facebook or YouTube. So in this case here, I'm going to send this directly to my YouTube channel. And as you can see there, it's coming up there and it has asked me to sign into my account and what I'll do there is just come up with my pre-selected passwords and go to next and iMovie wants to blah 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 so allow and that's it so now that video is now uploading to my YouTube account now I can go back into iMovie again and I can play this video from iMovie. There you go, that's it there, full screen on the phone. And of course I can upload it to Facebook from here as well and any other social media that I have links to. And I can also save it back into my photos library as well. So that's basically how to make a video in iMovie uh, on your mobile phone. Uh, to do it on a Samsung Galaxy is very, very similar. Uh, but when there's one little thing is you need to be able to find where the um, the Movie Maker app, as it's called, is. So what you do there is you click a clip in your Samsung Galaxy, any video clip at all, and you'll see a menu down the bottom. And down in that, you'll see a little icon that says Movie Maker. You click on that. And in some cases, the Movie Maker app will be on your phone. If it's not, you can download it from the Samsung store, not from Google Play. It's not in Google Play. It's in the Samsung um, app store. So you go into there, you download Movie Maker from there. So the next time you, uh, when you've, after you've downloaded the app, the next time you click 
the icon at the bottom line there into Movie Maker, it will actually open up the app. And the, the way I actually made this video is very, very similar to the way it works in uh, Samsung as well. I don't have a Samsung Galaxy, so I can't really show you. But um, what I would say is uh, if I do get my hands on one, I'll do another little uh, tutorial like this and you'll be able to uh, make videos as well. But it's, it is very, very similar once you actually get the Samsung uh, Movie Maker app opened um, when you actually click down on the bottom of your video that you open uh, from your um, video library on your mobile phone. So that's it um, and good luck with making your videos.